Hi, my name's Becky and if you're new here, I make sun catchers and sun catcher DIY kits with video tutorials. I started for New Creations in 2017 and since then it has become a full-time successful business. Sun Catcher Diaries is where I record everything that goes on in my small business behind the scenes. So I'm just finishing off my outfit for the Halflings festival that I'm selling at. So what I've done is I've purchased this corset from Amazon and then this material from a local market and I've kind of stuck on some dried flowers and then some artificial flowers. So these are like dried ones and I've stuck them on with a glue gun. And I've put some on the back as well. But I'm thinking of like, I've got way more, so I've got, let me just show you. Yeah, I have all these. So I'm gonna use all of them and fill the skirt, but I need kind of like a fuller part of the skirt at the top. I've got some like pink shorts to wear with it, but like this is quite high on my legs, so I kind of need like something to fill out that bit of the skirt so you can't see through it. So yeah, I'm gonna stick that on with a glue gun because there's no way, I mean, I can, I'm quite good at stitching, but there's no way I'm gonna stitch all the way around so, um, that when I'm just gonna be wearing it once, really. It's actually election day here in the UK right now, so I need to go and vote in a minute, but just before I do that, oh, I have my hair done. Lots, lots and lots and lots to update you on, by the way. Um, I did the festival at the weekend, and I decided not to vlog it, just because I really wanted to enjoy myself, and I've not been feeling very well, like I, keep, I feel like a, bl a broken record, but my gut problems are ongoing. Um, and they, they do make me really, really tired. Um, I do hide it a lot from people, but I do feel, I don't feel very good like most of the time. Um, and it, I'm, I have like really bad brain fog because of it. I know it sounds so dramatic, but yeah, sometimes just even speaking to people, it's just really hard. I can't even explain it. Anyway, on to what we're gonna be doing this week. Not this weekend, but the weekend after, I've got the Happy Place Festival. So I'm gonna be doing like a lot of prep for that in this video. So you've probably just seen that I've been making some of these moon sun catchers. I took some to the Goatlets and Gowns Halfling event and they completely sold out. And then I just tested them a little bit on Instagram. Instagram? Yeah, Instagram. Yesterday. And they did really well on there and you guys really, really loved them. So I've made a few more. So I've made the blue. Got aquamarine on it, and I think I'm gonna try and make a few more next week as well because these did really well. I've also made because I had these crystals at the market that I did over the weekend, and I think I probably saw one. So Sam, who works with me on a Monday, said, "Why don't you just try making them into just simple sun catchers?" where it's just the crystal. So I've done that and she said, I think they'll sell a lot better. 
So I've only just put like five pounds on the usual price. I normally put them on for 15 pounds and these are gonna be at 20. So it's not much more and then you get them made into a, a sun catcher basically. So I'm gonna be taking quite a few of them to the Happy Place Festival. So I've made a ton of small sun catchers. That's not even all of them, I'm gonna make more than that as well. And I've made loads, oh, <laughs> and I've made loads of Lucky Dips as well. So we're gonna have like 200 Lucky Dips because the festival that I did last weekend, I completely sold out of them. Um, so I decided to get 200. Um, and see what happens there. And then I've got like a few different crystals that I'm selling, some catches, my jewellery, and my tumble stones, which I've got some new tumble stones. I'll show you that as well. I've got these aura tumble stones that I'm taking with me as well. So I'm taking all the usual ones. So I've got like all my usual ones, but these are like different. The aura ones, I just think they are so pretty. And then yeah, some lucky dips. So I've been making up. I've done a hundred of them so far. They're all different, so some of them you'll just get like a bracelet and a crystal, some of them you'll get a bracelet and a sun catcher. So this is like one where you get a bracelet. So these are chip bracelet, this is opalite. So opalite bracelet. And then you also in this one get a sun catcher. I just think they're so cute, like as little Lucky dips. And then also to try and help me get some more people on my email list, I have got three crystals. So I'm gonna have like, something like this, but the, not these crystals, some different crystals, um, where you can have a free crystal if you sign up to my email list, which I think will go down really well at the Happy Place Festival. So that hopefully will grow my email list loads because I know I've not spoken about it for a few weeks, but I am going to be, as soon as the Happy Place Festival is done, the refocus is going to be on the retreat that we're going to be doing. So I'll still be obviously DIY kits are always a focus, but my, the focus, the extra focus will be yeah the retreat so me and beth are gonna probably gonna be finalizing that i'm just gonna get making more stuff and i'll show you along the way the stuff that we do make <laughs>
and I've just got back from the hairdressers. I've just had my hair, I've had some extensions put in. Let me be able to see. I'll show you this way. Yeah, I've had some extensions put in very long. I'm really not sure how I feel about it. I think I want them a bit shorter. My hair actually, I was thinking, oh, it'd be better if they were about there. And then I realised that that's actually where my natural hair is. Anyway, you're here to see the sun catchers. So, I, I don't know if I showed you these ones. I probably did show you in the last ones. But I've done some new sun catchers. I've done this one, which I think I've got some clips of. That I've probably just shown you. And these ones that I've not shown you yet. Oh god, there's just so many of them. I need to pack them up for the Happy Place Festival. But I think I'm going to start doing that tomorrow. So I've done these sun catchers. There's no sun as you can see anymore. It's gone in. And I've done like an aquamarine one, a clear one and a rose one. So I thought they were pretty cute. So I've done three of them here. And what else have I done? I've done, I did this one, I don't know if I've shown you this one before, but I've not actually put this one up for sale because I wasn't sure how I felt about it. But I think I might just put it on. I just don't know how I feel about it. And I've done this bigger one. I'm pretty sure you've not seen this bigger one, so I've done a bigger one with a blue aura quartz. And then I have done quite a bit of jewellery, so I've done loads of bracelets, smaller sun catchers, which I think I showed you in the last one, so I've done all these to take with me to the happy place. I've got all these different crystals that I'm taking with me as well. And I did loads of bracelets and now on my list I've got to do this vlog, which I need to put up today because I'm getting so bad at vlogging and bracelets I need to finish some more bracelets I need to do star sign bracelets so I need to do them and then some necklaces and then more sun catchers and then it's going to be all about packing down and getting ready for the happy place festival on Thursday after I've had my first consultation with my private doctor so it's very exciting I really don't know how I feel about this I feel like I got these shorter bits cut in because I saw a picture of a girl with like these shorter bits and then long and I really liked it and then now I don't know if they just look a bit odd. I don't know. I'm just not feeling my hair. She's done a really good job putting the extensions in. I just don't know if I'm... Fe this is why I had to get them done a whole month before our 10 year anniversary because... Well, two months. Because I need to get used to them and make sure I like them. And also once you wash them, they go on that They look more natural with your own hair. These are the bracelets that I've been making for the Happy Place. So I put like kind of like crystal chips in the middle and then I add this chain onto them. So they're pretty cute. So they've got like, there's all different ones. Then I've got obsidian, green adventuring. I think I've got clear quartz, rose quartz. So I do quite a few of them. And then there's quite a few different necklaces. So these are just a few of the necklaces that I've been doing. That's got um, malachite in it. Can't even see that. And then, so I just do like, I buy like pendants all the time and chains and things. And then when I've got a festival like this, I make them up because they do so well. I really cannot wait to show you our stand next week as well when we set it up. It's just gonna look perfection. I can't wait to do, next week's vlog. I think I'm going to take this camera with me. I'm not sure. And then I can vlog while I'm there. I've got, um, we're actually going to surprise my husband, my best friend, basically. My best friend from when I was younger is my husband's cousin. And that's kind of how I met my husband. And she lives in London. So she's meeting us down there and I've not told Jonathan. So we're kind of going to, I'm kind of like, oh, I'm just going out for a minute while we're setting up and then grab her and bring her in. It's going to be really nice to see her. So yeah, we've, she's going to come to the Happy Place Festival as well a couple of days. So that's good. So that's really exciting and I cannot wait for that.
just putting prices on some of my sun catchers and I've been finishing off some bracelets which I think I filmed yeah so I'm finishing off some bracelets the um, crystal bracelets and then I'm going to take some bits like to make bracelets with as well while I'm there so like I've got stuff to do while it's quiet and things I'm just about to go upstairs and do my just you probably don't even want to know this my ex zero also my taxes I'm going to edit this video and then I'm going to make a few more sun catches this afternoon yeah probably some like smaller ones so kind of these sizes because these did really well at the halfling festival so I'm gonna do like this kind of size I think it'd be quite nice if I did like tumble stones in the middle as well maybe so that's all I've, that's pretty much all I've got left to do today I say all I've got left to do edit a video do my taxes make some sun catchers put the prices on things pack up that yeah that's all I've got to do but I've got tomorrow as well to finish off things. I have kind of been like slowly doing things as well this week. I've not been rushing because I've given myself the full week to really get ready for this Happy Place Festival. I've just been watching, I just wanted to talk, I've just been watching, I've been watching somebody else who makes YouTube videos um, called Emily Harvey Art on Instagram. If you follow, if you do watch her videos, please will you let me know down below because I'd love to know if people wa who watch hers watch mine. She's, I mean, I find it really hard to fact like find other people on YouTube who do a similar thing to me because it's it's not something like a lot of people do make sun catchers or make wall hangings full time like I find it really hard to find people that do the similar things to me like and I'd love to find more people that do like wall hangings and things like that especially and vlog about it and in the UK as well like because I know there's loads in the US but it's nice to have people that come from where you live because then you can have similar experiences and you're like, oh, you can really resonate with that person. So I really like, if there, if you know anybody who does things like that, like films like small business things, like just please like tag them down below so I can go and watch their vlogs because I love it. So yeah, I, I watch Emily Harvey Art. She's just been saying how she's been feeling really disheartened on YouTube and not wanting to like film on there as much because she's like, oh, it's not getting any better. And, then she's kind of realised after going to a market that people have been coming up to saying, oh, we miss your vlogs. And she's realised it's not, it's about them people, that why, that's why she does it. And it's just made, it's probably given me a bit of a boost as well, like listening to her and her story, because I just thought to myself, like, I don't do this, kind of get more sales. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm doing this as m a little bit like, so when I used to work in retail and I had like people with me to kind of talk to, like I am doing now, like when Sam comes on a Monday, it's kind of like I'm just kind of trying to share my experience with you all and get, it's kind of like a, like just, I'm sharing, I'm offloading onto you. Well, I'm not offloading. That sounds really bad. <laughs> but yeah, I'm kind of like sharing my experience and it's, it's good. I feel like it's kind of like therapy and it like sharing what you're going through that week, what you're going through that day. And that's kind of what I've always used YouTube of. It's, I like it to kind of like film my life so I can look back and remember it. And I've kind of like, I feel like I've stopped doing that and I've been more thinking like for my business and I, I need to stop, I need to stop doing that. And I need to think, no, I, I, I go on YouTube for me. This is like my thing. I, I don't mean to sound big headed, but I've done extremely well on Instagram. Like I have nearly 300,000 followers on there now. Like in the next week or so, I'm probably gonna hit 300,000 followers on Instagram. And I worked really hard, really, really, really hard to get there. TikTok were almost reaching 100,000 followers. Like, and I use, I, and I do like really make sure that that is used for business. Like, I do like, I'm very careful with what I put on there. I would never put anything like too personal because people tend to not like that on there. Don't know why. Um, but like, Inst YouTube is for me, like I'm doing this for me to reach the people who enjoy this <laughs> basically and there are some people out there there's some people that always pop up that always message me the people that actually told me to get patreon in the first place which thank you so much because that has been brilliant like they're the ones that i do youtube for it's not for the numbers it's for the special amazing people that just really support our business and if you're watching this right now basically you're the you're the people because this is the end of the video so the people that are watching the end of my videos are the ones that I want to do this for and for me as well like do you know what I mean I just find it really hard to explain like this is why I'm doing YouTube I enjoy it I enjoy filming things I enjoy 
making video memories. I just do. I like it. I always have since being, like, since I first got my very first video camera. Like, like one of them really ancient ones. I remember having like a really ancient video camera and I loved it. And I love it now. So this is why I'm doing it. And you need to just kind of remind yourself sometimes why you're doing something and not just think that everything is about being successful with like in your business. Not everything is about that. It's sometimes it's just about what you enjoy. Yeah. So I was watching her um watch her by the way, she's called Emily Harvey R and she's just like me, she just has a small business. Um she does illustrations though. Um and I watch catnip as well. I'm sure some of you will watch catnip. Um and I just love watching like other people that have small businesses. It's just really nice to like see and she was saying like oh she thinks that it's bought like she doesn't think it's boring, like, she doesn't know if it's boring, like, just filming her doing the same things every day, but it's not boring. It's kind of, when you can relate to it, especially me, like, I am on my own a lot of the time at home doing these kind of things, so to me, it's not boring, so I know she's not, she doesn't watch my channel, but if she does watch my channel, I just want to say, Emily Harvey, keep making your own YouTube videos, <laughs> because I enjoy them, and lots of other people do. Um... Yeah, and if you know any other people that you think I'll enjoy, especially people that do different things, not just illustration, because I love people that do illustrations, but I just like to follow like a few different kinds of people in the UK that do different kinds of things as small business. Even if they make cakes or something, like something different, really different, I'd love to just see that. So yeah, I'm going to literally start making some sun catchers and then it'll be off to the Happy Place Festival, which I am going to film because I need to remember, I wasn't sure if I was going to film the Happy Place Festival, but I'm going to do it now because she's inspired me to do it. I love vlogging and I do it for me and I don't just do it for my business. So thank you, Emily Harvey. 